Good afternoon, or good evening, good morning, wherever you may be. Hi, my name is Brayden Dalrymple, and today I'll be reading a speech entitled, Why Jeremy Jordan is So Important to Me. I was very shy and I was very introverted as a kid, but whenever I set foot on stage, I kind of opened up, and I think a lot of kids need an outlet to express their creativity. And a lot of kids are scared to do that if there's not a safe environment for that. That is one of the many quotes of Jeremy Jordan I relate to. I remember seeing this man in Newsies on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in 2012. I was nine and I was already into theater a lot. I was amazed at how everyone could sing and dance so well, especially Jeremy. He didn't dance much, but his voice is what got my attention. Four years later, I'm 12, almost 13. I don't know much about what happened to the man I saw. I'm in a local production of Aladdin Jr. and I was just learning the ropes of musicals. Every musical that was in existence, I watched. I watched the last five years, which was probably a bad thing for me to be watching at age 12. And there he was, the man who I thought was the best singer ever. Jeremy Jordan is without a doubt the best man on Broadway right now, at least in my eyes. I love watching him perform. You know how kids have their one cartoon character that they want to be like? Or they have a person that they look up to? That was and is still Jeremy Jordan for me. I often like to watch his performances, whether that be concerts, videos of him singing, the pro shop version of Newsies, or YouTube bootlegs of past shows. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if you know me, you know that Newsies is my favorite show. Like, ever. <laughs> It's my dream to play Jack Kelly. I was 14 at the time of the Netflix release. I remember marking Newsies Day on my calendar in big blue bold letters to Patrick. And underneath, August 5th, 2017. I didn't watch it that day. I waited to watch it until December 1st, 2017 to pass time. I was awaiting news that I later found out was bad news. I turned to Newsies as a way to cope with the depression that made me almost quit theater. I'd often sing Seize the Day, Once and for All, and the World Will Know as a way to cope. Santa Fe was my song to sing when I was feeling low, because it talks about leaving the show and how much happier Jack would be if he were gone. Jeremy's voice enlightened me. He's what kept me in theater that horrible semester. Skipping forward to the summer of 2018, I was 15 and going through the phase of chaotic theater kid. I was doing everything in my power to learn more about my art. I had recently taken a tour of Harbor Playhouse in Corpus Christi, Texas, and was informed that I'd be taking a summer camp on scholarship provided by the theater. Literally, the week before camp, I found out that Jeremy Jordan was from the city. I freaked out. That week, it was all about Jeremy Jordan. I was referred to as Jeremy Jordan's biggest fan at the camp. And yes, the first couple of days, they called me the Jeremy Jordan boy, or they would say, hey, Jeremy fanatic. They knew a lot about Jeremy because that is where he got his start in musical theater. I even went to a star in the South Texas Walk of Fame. I make it a tradition to go each time I see my grandparents who live in the city. The next year was rough for me. 2019 was the best year, but also the hardest year in my teenage life. The winter of 2018 was memorable for me because that was the winter I had made my first main character. It was also the winter that I met Jeremy's mom. I told her that he was my biggest inspiration. There was a concert in New Orleans the following March that I'd be in attendance. She told me she'd do her best to get him to meet me. I flipped out, I cried, and let's just say I fangirled a little too much that night. Skipping to the week of the concert, I was nervous. The producer, along with Seth Rudetsky, actually reached out to my mom and I to volunteer. I would be selling water and entertaining guests who came to the booth that my mom and I were working. He promised me I'd get to meet Jeremy, and I did. I had a fear inside me that Jeremy would walk by while I was singing for this lady who asked me to sing a Jeremy song because I told her that I was a big fan. I sang his version of Don't Rent on My Parade. I sobbed during the concert and almost did when I met him. I walked up to him and he said, well, hello, David Jacobs. I wore a Newsies-inspired outfit that was similar to David Jacobs. I then handed him my school ID for my sophomore year and he signed it. 
I keep that ID on my wall or take it with me to auditions, job interviews, for good luck. Jeremy is my inspiration. I love to hear him talk and sing. I, I think of him like a hero because if it wasn't for him, I don't think I'd be in the theater industry right now. He is what inspired me to sing more and to be in musicals. That is why Jeremy is so important to me. He saved my passion for theater and theater is what's make me, what makes me truly happy. So I want to ask you a question today. Think about your childhood inspiration. What have they done for you? Did they inspire you as much as Jeremy did me? Thank you.